Good morning, Internet. Um, I've made a trip or two up into the woods uh, with my newly assembled, in-process uh, bushcraft pack. As promised, uh, I'm going to continue to refine the contents of this pack uh, to suit whatever needs I have uh, when on short trips. Uh, into the uh, forest close by uh, to do some bu bushcrafting um, projects um, <clears throat> and so this will be an ongoing process until I get it narrowed down to just exactly what I need you know once I get once I get this uh, set up uh, I can move on to my uh, larger pack for uh, weekend trips and week-long trips uh, those will be upcoming videos so if you're interested in uh, in uh, following along the progress of this pack and um, and starting on some of the uh, larger uh, quantity packs that I have um, in the future click the subscribe button and uh, there's a little notification bell to the right Click that and click all, and it will show you. Uh, it'll it'll uh, send you notices whenever I release another video. Uh, everything is free; doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. Uh, it helps out the channel. I'm up over a hundred subscribers uh, right now, and uh, I appreciate everybody that's subscribed and continues to tune in. Okay, so like I said, I've got this pack uh, that I made a trip up into the forest with uh, my last video I just went up there for a cup of tea I found some really cool places while I was up there and there's a lot more to explore there's about 400 acres uh, of forest right here next to my house and uh, and I look forward to uh, exploring all of that so with that said uh, the last video I did on this pack I believe I was at about 29 pounds um, <clears throat> Uh, <clears throat> I took out, uh, I think what is amounts to, let me weigh this, uh, stuff that I took out and see, I believe it was about, I believe it was about nine pounds, eight or nine pounds. I'll be right back here. Four point nine pounds. So I took out uh, about five pounds of gear. Uh, uh, it's raining out today and uh, nasty out, so pardon the pajamas and the slippers. Here is what I took out uh, right before I took my first trip. Uh, I took out the uh, wood carving tools. Um, uh, I took out the, uh, the, uh, magnifier, whatever these things are, these are, uh, I'll post a, post a note of that when I, in pro, in processing, post-processing, uh, Fresnel lens, that's what those are, uh, hand warmers I took out. Uh, the compass, I don't need that if I'm just in the woods close to home. I took out the small first aid kit. Uh, I took out my tarp. If I'm uh, within uh, just an hour or so walk of home, I don't think I need the tarp. I took out this uh, since it's winter. Uh, this uh, keep you cool bandana thing is not necessary now. Took out the uh, lighter. The uh, turbo lighter, uh, the fire starter. Uh, I'm not allowed to have fires in this uh, forest, so any cooking I do, I have to do with my alcohol stove, as as I did in the uh, previous video, the uh, tea party video. So, uh, took out the lighter, the smoke bomb, and the firecracker. There's no uh, <clears throat> there's no dangerous animals. Uh, in this forest uh, the most dangerous animals there are probably coyotes um, but it's mostly just deer and raccoons and coyotes and 
stuff of that nature, squirrels. Uh, anyway, took out one of these uh, tarp clips uh, that went with the tarp. Don't need that. Took out the uh, little harmonica. Um, and it looks like I took out my phone cord, which will probably go back in. This might have come out uh, by mistake, but I'll double check to see if I don't already have one in there. Took out the fire making kit. And what I'm going to do is go through this and um, just select uh, one alternate fire starting source uh, for this bushcraft pack. Uh, I'm going to have a lighter up there, and uh, in case the lighter doesn't work, uh, the only thing that I'm, I'm going to be lighting um, while in this forest is my alcohol stove. So I can do that with a ferrocium rod uh, or just a second lighter, and that'll avoid this, this, whole, uh, this whole bag of, of fire starting stuff. Uh, you know, I can, I can incorporate uh, one of these methods uh, with each bushcraft trip that I, that I go on. And uh, and explore different methods, uh, but uh, any any size fire that I that I plan to create up there will be nothing more than just a tinder tinder bundle in a probably in a piece of aluminum foil or a container. Took out my uh, killer tree tape. Uh, I guess just going to be everybody uh, to his own uh, here in the state state forest. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to overstep my uh, legal uh, rights uh, in, in in a state forest, so I'll let them be in charge of marking any killer trees. I'm sure they do they do uh, walkthroughs quite often here. Uh, the rangers, state park rangers. So anyway, that's the uh, five pounds of stuff I took out, and uh, I ended up sticking some more stuff back in the pack. Uh, before my last, before my last first and last trip up uh, on the uh, on the video of the tea party, and uh, I am back up to 33 pounds in the pack. Okay, so 33 pounds in my pack, and and I'm going to basically I'm going to go through this and unload this thing today uh, because I still think there's some redundancies in there that I don't need. Uh, and some items that I really don't need. I may not need this this uh, huge IFAC, but uh, considering the, the considering the the uh, possibility that I'm going to be working with saws and axes and knives, uh, it's probably a good idea. <clears throat> my camera bag, just my camera gear, is uh, let's see what this one is. Camera gear is going to be nine and a half pounds, and uh, thank God GoPros are so light; otherwise, it would be more. Now, this camera gear bag does not include um, my DSLR camera or uh, the tripod for that. Um, this doesn't include uh, the battery uh, backups that I have to run the GoPros. Um, I've got one attached to the uh, field uh, tripod uh, so that I can use that to run a GoPro and I'm not required to change the batteries every 15 or so we've got that um, you know along with camera gear uh, for this channel I've got a couple a couple drones um, that I that I have uh, I'm kind of at a disadvantage here where I'm at right now uh, because uh, drones are prohibited. Uh, I'm in a, a close vicinity to a couple airports and I'm also uh, in close vicinity to a uh, naval air station. So uh, it's, uh, you have to go through a lot of... Uh, a lot of red tape in order to fly a drone here so uh, I haven't had much practice with my drones um, what did I weigh this thing as hang on a second so this pack with just the one drone is about six and a half pounds um, and so that might just limit this 
that might just limit the drone to uh, any uh, outings that I go on where I either have the, the Honda 90 or the Jeep uh, because that's going to be excess weight. I think with, uh, with the camera gear bag I can stick some batteries and uh, three GoPros in the uh, Bushcraft pack and um, get by with what I need up there. I kind of like to have my DSLR for taking uh, close-up shots and things of that nature. So let's uh, let's go through this pack again and see what I've got in here and, and what I don't really need. Um, I know one of the uh, one of the new items that I purchased um, is this stool. And buckle some of these side buckles here. Purchase this stool uh, to sit on and rest on when I'm. Let me get you out of the way here. Uh, when I'm on the trail, and uh, pretty sturdy. I hope. I, I hope it's not too low for me not to be able to get up. Um, and I also have my butt pad, my sit pad uh, that I can use. Uh, if I find this too much hassle, but this just straps right onto the side of the, the pack and it uh, collapses down to pretty small pretty small deal. So I can yank this off the side of the pack if I need to sit and rest going uphill uh, and sit down with it uh, and that'll keep my pack off the ground and, and me off the ground. Uh, like I said before, I had the uh, I had the Magellan Explorers uh, GPS <clears throat> I really don't think in this area that I need to uh, have the Montana 700i uh, GPS. It's a, a large, uh, heavy unit. I mean, you know, it's nice to track. It's nice to track my path and the and the trails. Let me grab it real quick. So this is the size of the uh, Explorist, um, and I have a mount on my handlebars for this on the motorcycle for doing road trips, and that's kind of what this is set up for, a little better doing road trips. Anyway, um, it's a pretty extensive uh, menu system on this thing, so... Um, I don't think I need that in the pack. I had that in there last time. Uh, I've got a, a head-mounted uh, GoPro Hero 9. And I think from that last video uh, from the Tea Party, uh, the footage that I used from this on the head mount was a little jerky and moved around a little bit too much. So I think I'm going to transfer this to a chest mount uh, for any future, future bushcraft outings uh, up into the woods. I've got, of course, the IFAC on here, and it's uh, it's made by Rhino Rescue. Uh, it's a pretty. Uh, it, it's got just about everything you need in it. Uh, uh, fully filled, fully supplied. Uh, I've got my uh, saw, folding saw, uh, silky Zubat. Uh, I've used that once and it worked out really well. Um, I have got two of these water bottles. And I explained last time in the last video that I have those narrow mouth water bottles uh, because my uh, purification system, my SteriPen, fits perfectly into the, into the mouth of those. So I'll pull those two out. You know, I can probably, on, on these uh, outings, I can probably get, wet, get away with one of them. Uh, I, I usually bring a, a frozen, uh, half frozen water bottle and I add water to that uh, for drinking. I like to drink uh, cold uh, ice water uh, when I'm hiking and pretty much all the time. Uh, I've got, and buckle this side over here. I've got my hatchet 
And this is a Ned Foss hatchet. Uh, haven't had a chance to sharpen this yet um, or use it. I, I did chop one branch, I think, with it uh, when I went up. Uh, I went up here a while back trying to hunt for uh, fatwood. And um, fatwood, from what I understand, my limited knowledge is uh, mainly found on pine trees. And uh, there's not uh any pine trees around this area i haven't really done an extensive search for them uh, but i may need to go other places to uh, find some pine trees uh let's see i've got the uh, camera bag let's see if i can get this over here camera bag on the side here that mounts on the side that's got uh tripods it's got my selfie stick um and i can pretty much stuff uh, it's got my 360 uh, GoPro. I can stick all my uh, GoPro stuff that that has uh, uh, length in this bag here, and uh, I can pull it out uh, while I'm cruising the trails, and I don't have to unpack the whole pack. Uh, I've got my uh, marker, trail marker tape. Uh, I haven't haven't decided yet whether I'm going to explore um, any areas off trail uh, in the in the uh, in the forest here uh i in the past I've, I've developed kind of an interest in um being in the islands the salmon islands here i've developed kind of an interest in the indigenous uh, uh people's um areas of villages and and remnants and and campsites and when i when i go to an island i try to imagine uh a place where where the indigenous people might have uh formed a village uh, or something to that effect. So uh, I always try to keep an eye open for uh, areas that I see that would would have been a good a good place for uh, indigenous people to congregate. I've got my uh, sunglasses here. These are a really light shade uh, because generally in the forest I'm not worried about. Uh, I don't get a lot of sunlight because there's a, there's a lot of trees around here. Uh, got my uh, on the front strap straps I've got uh, my binoculars and these are Bushnell's uh, just small little binoculars that I can use uh, in the forest I used them on that last video to to find that uh, clearing that uh, meadow that I saw uh, I've got my uh, Mora knife here this one is the uh, HD stainless um, very sharp. I haven't sharpened it yet, uh, and I hope to do some of that when I get time. Um, so, got that, and then I've got this, uh, Schrade, Schrade, um, knife that I, uh, I bought a couple years ago. Uh, it was a really, really good, uh, deal, uh, inexpensive. Um, and it is, in my opinion, it, it is a quality knife. Um, it is uh, very thick. It is full tang. Um, and uh, sharp. Uh, even, even with this grind, it is just razor sharp. I haven't had a chance to sharpen this or use it. Uh, this came with a... Uh, let me get this in here right. This came with a uh, ferrocium rod and I believe if I remember correctly a diamond uh, a diamond sharpening deal. Let's see if I can pull them out of here. I've got this thing strapped to the I've got this thing strapped to the shoulder strap. Uh, let's see if I can get out of here. Not to worry about anything falling out. There's the ferrocium rod and the uh, scraper that it comes with. Heavy duty. Uh, not a very large rod, but uh, it will do in a pinch. So I can probably eliminate uh, that off of my uh, off of my pack if I have any of that stuff inside here still. 
Um, you know, I don't, some of these things you kind of want to hang on to in case everything else fails. Uh, so you wouldn't want to use up something that you can put on your belt. Um, uh, if you can have, if you can use something that's expendable that's in your pack. Uh, and it came with this uh, diamond uh, encrusted sharpening deal. Sharpening stone. So I've got that. Can't wait to, uh, can't wait to do some maintenance on some of my stuff. Get up, uh, of course, as soon as the weather gets better, I'll probably won't have time to do much of that. But anyway, so I've got that on there. Um, that's pretty much it for the shoulder straps. I've got them just hooked up around the top here so they don't dangle around. So uh, into the top part of the pack. I've got an inhaler. I don't really have too much trouble with uh, asthma, but just in case I ever did. Uh, this, I believe, is another battery for um, uh, for a GoPro. So this is, uh, I do have a, a pack that has all the batteries in it. Uh, and I'm gonna try, I had these kind of scattered between my bushcraft pack and my camera bag uh, pack. So I wanna keep them all in one uh, bag well, in one uh, little sock thing uh, so I can transfer them back and forth between the camera bag and the bushcraft bag. Uh, I've got uh, one, two, three, four different models of GoPro so that means I've got three different models of batteries uh, that go with them. Uh, the 9 and 10 uh, can use the same batteries. Uh, what else is in here? I've got that lighter uh, and this is the one that I was talking to you about in the original video. I like these because they have the uh, long uh, spout on them. Uh, it keeps your fingers away from whatever you're lighting. And then these are the refillable ones. And uh, they're called Blink lighters. So I just found them at a local convenience store. So I bought a few of those. I've got a set of tweezers in here. Keep all this stuff separate. I've got a camera cleaning cloth. Um, and just a basic cloth. I've got, uh, looks like I've got a pair of uh, safety glasses uh, for if it's a cloudy, dark day and, and the sunglasses uh, are too dark. Uh, uh, and I usually only use these uh, safety glasses if I'm mushroom hunting or if I'm off trail uh, going through the brush because uh, I don't want to get uh, poked in the eye with a, a branch uh, and it happens quite often. Oh, it looks like I've got another one of these lighters. I can probably get rid of one of these. Uh, my fold-up glasses. Showed those in the last video. Uh, and uh, Kleenex. Very important. So that's it for the top pouch. Uh, I've got my outdoor research Seattle sombrero. Um, there's been a great rain hat. I love this thing. Um, the new ones, from what I understand, I was going to order a second one of these, uh, but the new ones I understand don't have this adjustment in the back um, that you can adjust uh, the tightness of them. So they're pretty much a one size fit all or, or perhaps they have some kind of elastic in them. But I really like the fact that this one is, uh, is adjustable. Um, now we get into some of my coffee making stuff. And the last time I went up, I didn't have, uh, I didn't have the ability to make an espresso or a latte. So I just made a cup of tea. And um, uh, so I've got uh, a larger container of alcohol from my alcohol stove, and this is probably way overkill. Uh, I've got um, alcohol, as you saw in the previous video on the tea party, that's just in a small little uh, water bottle. Uh, so I think I'll get rid of this. Um, the only reason that I got this uh, excess is because I may uh, start doing some field tests on uh, my Trangia stove as compared to my homemade. Uh, alcohol stoves and so I would need some extra fuel for that but for the future I don't really need that extra heavy uh, fuel thing in there so I'll put that out um, my cookware uh, stuff not my cookware my coffee and tea wear 
Um, this is the uh, Transia stove that I bought, and I just did a, a review on a modification on this. Uh, and when I did the modification, I didn't end up with the results that I really desired. So I'm going to do some further modifications to this. So stay tuned uh, for this uh, video to come out. I'm going to I'm going to add some modifications to what I previously did on this. I put uh, carbon felt uh, in here and a stainless mesh screen over the top of that. Uh, but I'm going to install some uh, di different modifications to this uh, in just a couple days, especially if it keeps raining like it is. Let me turn my GPS off. Power off. Okay. All right. So uh, my coffee, tea, uh, I guess it's just my espresso kind of set up here uh, for making espressos. And I don't really see the uh, espresso maker in here. I'm going to have to incorporate that with this. Okay. So uh, when I make my espressos, I, uh, I purchased this. Oops. This is a field coffee grinder. And the reason that I purchased this one is because it fits on top of a small little ball canning jar. So put my coffee grinds in there, coffee uh, beans in there and grind me up a cup. Uh, that's in there. I've got uh, I've got the uh, stand for the Trangia stove. It goes on top of it. I've got the uh, latte cup. Uh, like I explained in the previous video, uh, when I make my uh, when I make my espresso, I dump the shots in here and uh, mix it up with some honey. Uh, let me let me get the espresso maker out of here so you can see kind of what's going on with that. And I referenced a picture of these in the last uh, in the in the tea party video. Uh, let's see if I can find all the parts to this rascal. There we are. Got the espresso maker. Uh, so what I do is uh, I. Uh, GSI espresso maker. Uh, this is a small one that I, I purchased years ago uh, when I was doing ultralight backpacking and I have since uh, I like it so much that I've since purchased the larger model um, uh, for if I if I go out with a friend or for use in my boat. Uh, my boat is currently in the in the shop right now and so I hope to have it ready for some uh, boat trips this spring to the San Juan Islands so stay tuned for those videos. Uh, anyway uh, when I make my espresso shot in this, uh, I use this cup here, and that puts my espresso shot into this cup. Uh, I take that shot and I dump it into this cup and to mix it up with some honey. Uh, and uh, then I can heat this uh, cup, uh, add some uh, half and half uh, is, is my drink of choice with my lattes. That makes it what they call a breve latte. Uh, so I can mix the honey, the espresso shot, and some half and half in this cup, and then uh, heat it on top of the uh, Transia stove, uh, or my little alcohol stove. I still kind of prefer the ones I made out of pop cans uh, and V8 cans. Uh, but anyway, I can heat this up, uh, dump it into uh, my coffee cup. You know, I could drink it right straight out of here, um, uh, but I, I got these uh, coffee cups. Uh, Yuko, UCO, uh, and I dig these because they stack together and they take up little room and they're really solid. These uh, bottoms in these things are thick and they pop out to a decent sized cup. Uh, and once you're done using them, you just pop them back like that and store them in your pack. So there went my coffee making stuff. I've got an extra uh, bungee. Kind of like these loop and ball bungees for attaching stuff to the side of a pack. Uh, uh oh, I lost my disposable uh, flatware. Uh, when I get these with to-go orders, uh, 
at different places. I save them for my for my pack. I got a salt and pepper in here, a napkin, knife, fork, and spoon. And you know, in my in my in my larger pack, I do have a spork, a titanium spork, and and all that stuff. Um, I, I have a spork. I'm not sure if it's titanium or plastic, but I use these, and I can reuse them over and over again, uh, and get a lot of use out of something that was meant to be disposable. So. I just do that and it saves my saves my other gear for the uh, larger pack and of course like like I told you before in the previous video I still have my uh, my uh, REI Gore-Tex this thin little windbreaker has been such a blessing uh, like I said I found this thing in a in a uh, thrift store years ago and uh, I just love it uh, I wore it up here when you're hiking you don't need anything real heavy as a raincoat and this thing breathes really well um, to reactivate them uh, I'm told that you just put them in a dryer for a little bit and it reactivates the Gore-Tex but I wore this thing out on a hike along with my uh, outdoor research hat pouring down rain and I just sat down at the base of a tree uh, and enjoyed the rainstorm and didn't get wet a bit so uh, that thing was sent to me sent to me by a higher power i'm sure uh in here i've got the uh bladder um i i'm not i, I don't really use uh use these uh I, I, you know if if i was out for an extended period of time i probably would in fact i'll probably uh remove this uh and install it in my larger pack um platypus or whatever it is um, drinks things so let's see what else we got in here okay now these are some coffee grounds that i had uh previously uh when i went up on that uh that uh, bushcraft trip to do the tea party uh, i did have the coffee grounds here and the espresso maker but i didn't have the uh half and half or the milk to add to the latte you know so i could have done just an espresso shot with honey but I'm old and I don't want to end up having a heart attack in the woods. So I do have that, and I think this is the same. This is the same threads as this uh, larger bottle here. Um, so what I'll do is I will uh, use up these coffee grounds on my next trip up, which will be tomorrow or the next day. Uh, have a latte up there in the woods and uh, replace this jar here with this this one here because it's even smaller. So I can grind fresh bean, fresh beans on the trail. So this uh, extra jar here is, is was extra weight, uh, and I will remove that and just uh, save this um, for when I use up the grounds that are in this uh, smaller jar. Well, let's see what we've got in here. I think that's it for the main pocket. Uh, this pack is, has been a really good pack. Like I mentioned, I, I bought this, I th I'm pretty sure I bought this thing on, uh, on there's another disposable set of utility of, of uh, knives forks and spoons uh bought this pack on i believe it was on amazon uh and uh if, if you're interested let me know and i will search for it and and uh, get some identification on what it is how much it cost uh, but it's been it's really thick that's the only bad part about this is it's really thick and durable material but it's heavy uh, i think i said it was nine pounds empty um, so, uh, that's why I decided to, you know, initially it was my get home bag. Uh, and so I kept it in my vehicle. And so the weight of the pack didn't really matter. Um, but it needed to be rugged. And, uh, now since I'm retired, uh, I don't need a get home bag because I'm home most of the time. Um, and so this is just going to transition into my bushcraft bag because it's heavy and I don't have to go far here into the forest to do bushcraft and hopefully it will help me more all right uh this is something i'm going to use for my geocaching uh, i do have one geocaching video posted i love geocaching i've been doing that for years uh it's a great way to go out it's free it's a great way to go out and get exercise hunt for treasure and uh keep track of some of these treasures that have been all over the world uh it's just incredible um let's see here let's finish uh going through my cookware 
Uh, I do have my uh, titanium cook pot. Uh, this has the uh, alcohol stove in it along with the small bottle of alcohol fuel. Uh, it's got a windscreen and a stand, a pot stand for my alcohol stove, my homemade one. Uh, this one has the small uh, alcohol stove that I made and I made that out of a V8 can. Um, and I love it. it. It's perfect for one person. It's actually perfect for, for cooking enough water for, for a dehydrated meal or for two people. So. Okay, pardon the interruption. <clears throat> Had a spam call come through. Uh, anyway, titanium pot with a lid. Um, it's got the alcohol in it. The pot stand for the alcohol stove and a windscreen. Um, a lid. Uh, and I made this cozy myself. Uh, if you're interested to find out uh, how I did that, you uh, leave me a leave me a note in the comments, and I will uh, make a short video on how I made the cozy. Um, but this stuff works really well. Uh, there's what's inside. It's got my stove upside down in here. That little stove has been the best, best little creation I think I've ever made. Uh, really happy with that. And then here's the smaller bottle of alcohol. I need to leave this out and, and, and refill it. Actually, I've got enough in here for another outing for a latte. So I'll probably use this up before I refill it, but it all fits in here. And uh, the lid fits over the top. And I'm not sure, I can't remember. Who made this cookware set if, if you're interested in something of this fashion like I said let me know in the comments and I will hunt down where it's from now I got another one of these I don't need so I'm gonna stick one of these uh, off to the side I have got uh, looks like some uh, <clears throat> medical supplies in here and stuff of that nature uh, Got an extra pair of underwear, and I think what these are for is uh, I just use them as a rag, uh, so I don't really need that in there. Uh, oh yeah, last time uh, my my uh, saw uh, and my hatchet uh, needed to be wiped off, cleaned off, and so I used uh, I, I needed a rag for that. Uh, here is one of my favorite uh, things lately at my age. Uh, it's called Liquid IV Hydration Multiplier. It gives you uh, electrolytes in your system um, I had a family member uh, pass away from uh, not having any electrolytes in their system uh, and the video that I saw on electrolytes um, had a beaker a glass beaker of water uh, just purified bottled water distilled water uh, it had a battery on one end with some wires that went into the water and then a light bulb uh, on the other end with wires that came out of the water. Uh, the gentleman turned on the battery and the light bulb did not light. Uh, when he added electrolytes to the water, stirred it up, turned on the battery, the light lit. Uh, and basically what electrolytes, in my understanding, my limited understanding, I'm not a medical professional. Uh, my limited understanding is that electrolytes facilitate <clears throat> the electrical impulses from your brain to your muscles. Um, and so I, I do these religiously. Um, you mix these with eight ounces of, of ice cold water, shake it up. Doesn't have to be ice cold water. Like I said, I just prefer ice cold water. Um, I, I prefer ice cold water because uh, one of my understandings was uh, I used to have a desk job, uh, one of my uh, vocations, uh, and I drank ice water because uh, I read somewhere that uh, when your stomach has to warm water that comes into your uh, stomach, it helps burn calories. And so for someone that had a desk job, uh, drinking ice water uh, was a way for me to burn calories while I sat on my butt. So anyway, uh, liquid IV, get these things, try one. Uh, if, if it doesn't make a difference that, you know, if you're, if you're my age and you, you feel down and drowsy and, and not, uh, energetic, 
try one of these, you feel it instantly. At least I do. I feel instantly uh, when I when I use one of these. Uh, got a carabiner, a couple carabiners in here. Never know where they'll come in handy. Um, my book for my uh, Magellan GPS. What do we got in here? Holy cow. Okay, yeah. See, I've got all these charging cords and a battery pack. Uh, for anything anyone uh, would want to charge um, This one has been really well uh, you can see it's at a hundred percent So I have that to charge stuff with I've also got a uh, Also got uh, one of my solar powered battery packs the larger ones that I explained in a previous video strapped to my uh, tripod here that, that I'm filming with so the uh, GoPro 10 that you're that you're watching right now is being run off of that battery pack and so I don't have to keep changing the batteries. Uh, I got some more dehydration uh, drip drops that I wanted to try. Uh, I've tried a, a few other uh, of these, uh, the cheaper brands, and the, they weren't as tasty as the liquid IVs. So I will uh, let you know on these uh, how they stack up to the liquid IVs. I've got a package of hand warmers. Uh, you can use these to warm your hands, but you also need them uh, when you're doing YouTube videos uh, on night lapses and time lapses uh, to keep the camera and the batteries warm. Uh, so I'll stick the battery uh, in a in a box or in a, in some sort of a sleeve, and then put one of these in with it if I if I have the camera out all night and it's uh, cold out uh, to keep the the battery and the camera warm. I've got some moleskin padding. Uh, if you've ever done any hiking, you know how how precious these are. Uh, if you get a, a blister or a hot rub on your uh, foot while you're hiking, uh, you put a little bit of this over it and it uh, keeps you from getting blisters. I've got the um, 84 inch by 52 inch emergency blanket, so I don't really need the tarp. If I do have an emergency out there, uh, I can use this. Um, you know, and that, and that kind of gets me into, into the reason that I bought the Magellan Explorist. Um, I do have an older uh, device uh, that uh, is able to communicate with satellites, and it's smaller. So I, I might end up just using that. Let me run and grab that real quick. Let me stick these carabiners down. The other thing I've got in that pack right there is, is a small roll of toilet paper. Uh, if I need to do my duty, satellite communication device. You, you know, and, and what I was getting at is if you're if you're hiking by yourself, uh, even if you're just uh, even if you're just close to home, an emergency can happen. Um, but the other one I have is this InReach Explorer by Delorme, uh, and this is what I initially started with um, for hiking, uh, and then when I purchased the uh, Honda 90. Uh, and started riding with that uh, uh, trail riding group. Uh, I, I purchased the Montana 700i, and I, I basically uh, liked its features for for motorcycle riding, uh, based on some videos that I saw uh, on a woman uh, named Itchy Boots. Her channel's Itchy Boots, uh, and uh, that's what she used. And so I got that basically for the motorcycle, uh, and that'll be handy for my off roading. Uh, I'm, I'm setting my Jeep up now to uh, start doing some overlanding and off-roading with uh, one of my local uh, local groups that I joined uh, called uh, Pacific Northwest Rebel Squad. So I'll put a link to their channel uh, uh, in the video. Uh, if any of you are interested, if you're up here in the Pacific Northwest, uh, Washington State, and are interested in um, doing some overlanding with them, they get out and, and go on a lot of trips. Kaiser of that uh, group, Benzomatic is go 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 all the time I'm really impressed with her so anyway uh, i think i'll use this one uh and activate it when i'm hiking and uh, use the 700i if i go on any on any overlanding trips or any motorcycle trips uh, and that's the beauty of the inreach is that you can turn it on and off whenever you want uh, i'm not sure how they'll go about uh, allowing me to use two separate devices uh, but 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 this one's a lot lighter than the 700i and really all I need it for is if I have an emergency uh, and need to contact somebody via satellite or it allows you to send text messages to uh, to loved ones. <laughs> it's like I got another set of uh, 
disposable silverware. I can get rid of some of these for later. Put them in the. They aren't really that heavy. Uh, toilet paper. Uh, anyway, I can send text messages to people, send and receive text messages over the satellites, uh, and that's handy to let somebody know that I've arrived safely. Uh, here is my uh, knife sharpener, uh, work sharp sharpener, and I got this. It has, like I said, it has two different uh, two different uh, settings, uh, bevel settings, uh, and and I didn't say anything about it before, but it also has this. Um, uh, one of my knives, uh, my Cricut knives, has uh, kind of a serrated blade uh, closer to the handle. Um, so this will help uh, to uh, hone those serrations uh, and get them sharp. Uh, gloves for uh, light uh, gloves. I, I use these, uh, as I stated in the previous video, for uh, nettles, pick and stinging nettles. Uh, we make... Uh, we make uh, we cook with stinging nettles. Uh, we make tea with them, uh, and uh, they're good for you. They're a very beneficial plant that pops up this time of year uh, in the early spring. Uh, and I use these uh, primarily to pick those nettles uh, so they don't sting my hands. Uh, I've just got kind of a lanyard thing here. Not sure what the heck I can use that for, but I'll stick that with my carabiners for just in case stuff. Um, I have got a uh, little bit of sunscreen. I've got uh, sharpening puck for my uh, Ned Foss hatchet. Um, I've used this a little bit, uh, but I, I didn't do it for very long, and and uh, so I will need to get at that eventually. And I believe that is everything. In here, let me double check. Oh, nope. So, it looks like we've got another pouch down here on the bottom. I better get all this stuff put away before my girlfriend gets home. She's going to be furious. All right, so all I've got in the bottom here, what I used to have in the bottom here was my tarp. And, uh, you know, I'm going to weigh this tarp and see, see how much it weighs. Uh, but I do have this uh, 16th inch by 100 feet, 110 pound test paracord. It's not really paracord, but it's Atwood rope. And 110 pound test is really, I think, all I need for for uh, stringing a ridge line for a tarp, or you know, hanging a pack up, or or hanging my food uh, food bag up in a tree. So uh, if I needed to, I I can use this. Um, let's go weigh this tarp real quick. I don't want this video to stretch out for a long, long time. Uh, do I still have stuff in my cooking bag? Jeez, yeah, I do. Okay, let's finish this up. Uh, I have got tea stuff. And I can set this stuff all aside because I can pretty much just... <coughs> take up one tea or one coffee whatever I plan to use when I'm bush crafting and the rest of this stuff can go in my uh, weekend bag or my week-long bag this has got a uh, a little double-sided spoon container that you can uh, uh, put some raw tea leaves in and make your own tea stir your coffee thing uh, that, that, that's probably more useful for like a bush craft tea or things that you find out in the wild uh, this thing here has got two honeys and uh, some old coffee grounds that I probably need to get rid of. Uh, they've been in here a long time. Uh, it's got some honey packets. It's got a salt and pepper shaker. Uh, and this has actually got two containers of honey. So I'm going to get rid of one of these containers of honey. I only need one with me when I'm doing bushcraft. So that'll eliminate some uh, weight. Let's go weigh this. Uh, Weigh this tarp. What do I do with the tarp? Oh. Let's see here. Where's that rascal? Oh, it's in this. Let's see how much the tarp weighs. Edo Outfitters. I got this tarp from them so many years ago. And they are still in business. Uh, on the... Uh, 
on the previous pack video I posted a link to their web page uh, this uh, sill nylon tarp weighs 1.5 pounds so you know as far as bushcrafting you know it's, it's really not that much extra weight I think if I eliminate a bunch of this other stuff uh, over here on my right um, that I can make up for that one and a half pounds um, and so it's going to be you know if it, if it rains on me I can string a tarp up real quick but I don't know I don't know I you know if you got a good rain hat and a raincoat you really don't need a tarp um, aside from trying to keep your stuff dry that you're cooking with and, and the cameras are, are pretty much waterproof the alcohol stove cooking a cup of coffee or a cup of tea really doesn't need to be protected. Um, so anyway, we'll toss it out with the other stuff and I will go through the stuff that I've pulled out here that I need in here and, uh, and uh, you know, maybe take a few extra, a few less snacks. Uh, geez Louise. Uh, yeah, so I got zip fizzes in here for electrolytes and and hard candies and nuts and so anyway I can get rid of a bunch of this and uh, Just take up a couple snacks a day and I should be uh, Should be sufficient and and a little easier on my back. So there you have it um, I will pack all this stuff up uh, and weigh it minus uh, See the stuff here that I want to keep. And uh, here's some of the stuff that I'm going to get rid of. And we'll see what my final weight is. And uh, I'll announce the final weight um, on the next video where I go up and do a uh, a uh, brevet latte in the forest so anyway thanks for watching I bet you're happy you don't have to be here to put this mess away uh, and like I said like share subscribe uh, click on the notification bell and um, within a day or two I should be uh, headed up into the forest uh, to do my latte so on to bigger and better things as far as bushcraft uh, once I kind of get this pack whittled down and figured out then I can pretty much load it with a, an individual uh, bushcraft uh, task that I want to do and uh, still be able to uh, make it home with a decent back anyway thanks for watching I appreciate it uh, like I said if you have any comments or, or want any information on uh, any of have here <clears throat> leave me a note in the comments and I will uh, get back to you or include it in a future video thanks Well, guys and gals, uh, I've gone through the pack. I'm still back up at about 32, 33 pounds total. I think I'm going to end up being stuck with that. Now, I do have two, two uh, one liter water bottles uh, on the pack, all my camera gear, uh, etc. So uh, I think that's pretty much what I'm going to be stuck with. Uh, I can, like I said, uh, get rid of one one water bottle, but I'd probably just uh, use one for cooking water uh, And then another one uh, would be the ice water for me to drink so 32 33 pounds looks like that's what it's going to be so future trips will will uh, Affect that weight and uh, we'll just kind of you can take it as it as it comes anyway 33 pounds. I'm gonna head up uh, and do a uh, do a bushcraft video tomorrow uh, the Sun unexpectedly came out today and so I thought I'd come out here and uh, let you take a look at the finished product